What up? What's up, everybody? So today I'm gonna show you how to make this little hand ring. Hand ring. Hand ring. Hand, 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 hand. I thought I lost my original one, luckily found it, and we're going to use this kind of as the template. So I flattened it out, and I just traced it on this dope little notebook. I'll get like a little template for you guys if you want in the description. Also, if you guys like the ring but don't really want to make one yourself, I'll also have a link to my website. You guys want to just buy one from me make a couple for those who want one so after you cut out the template you get your silver I like to tape my template on there tape a little paper on there and just trace it so it's pretty light so I just trace it again with sharpie took some metal shears and just cut it out now the more that you cut it out right now like the better just because it's gonna be easier to cut it out than file it down and you'll see that later be sure and save the scraps because it is silver and so you can probably get some money back so then I just took a file and filed it down and again like I said it's just easier to get metal off of the scissors even easier if you have a Dremel or rotary tool, so that's what I used. And I just use that to get all like the little details, kind of get more of like a hand shape and get the finger shaped in. And I bent some of the fingers back to get right in there, little cracks there. Right in the finger crotch. I just drew on the details with the pencil. And it showed up pretty good. And then you can scratch out with a file. Like, it's pretty hard. You're gonna have to go over it quite a bit of time to get it deep if you're using a file. And it's just so much easier if you use a Dremel. So, once I got that, I just took some sandpaper to get the edges even smoother so it doesn't scratch me up when I wear it. Bent it as much as I can. And then to get it round, I put it on a mandrel and hit it with a nice little hammer. Again, just some final touches with the, with the sandpaper. And voila, we have it. Cute little hand ring. So it ages pretty nicely, but to speed up the aging process, I just added some of that sulfur. And that just oxidizes the metal and gets nice and black. I then take the sandpaper and it will shine up all the places except for where the grooves are. Kind of giving it that little aged look. Shaky, shaky, shaky. I'm so shaky. And so, if you want, you can put a little, like a little tattoo, I guess, in the fingers. To do that, I just use these little letter stamps. Also, if you don't have a mandrel, like I said, shape it as much as you can at first. So just take something round, put a ring on it, and you can just hit it with a hammer till it's nice round. There you have it, guys. A little hand ring. So, like I said, uh, if you guys don't want to make one yourselves, I am going to make a couple for those who want some. On my website, I put a link into the description. Also, I, <laughs> I hope you like the little slut word. That was, uh, that was, my sister gave me that suggestion to do that letter, and then I had a vote on a couple ones on my Instagram. So, you can always keep up with me on Instagram to see what I'm doing. And yeah, dope.